Yeah, so we can have low volume, Liam. Like, is this is this fine, or do you guys want me to turn down the music a bit? I'll turn down the music a bit. Yeah, we'll turn down the music a bit. There you go. Yeah, something like that. That's great. That's great. Yo, the Walter student, what's going on? How you guys doing? Now's a great time for us to talk and catch up and... Oh, I miss you all so much. Is the ship in JRB one of the airships from SMB3? It better be. I feel like it is. Yo, Graham, what's going on? Stopping him before work. No, fuck work. What's going on, Kavinicus? How you doing? Talk and catch up. You got to see Wicked over the weekend. That was fun. Right on. Did I see the new Dragon Ball Super trailer? No, I did not. What's up with that? What is in that crate? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Alright, so... This is the new 120 star world record. I happened a couple days ago. I fucking... I missed it, and I normally watch Liam at night when I'm, like, doing shit. I always love watching these records back because, like, you never know... You never know it's the record, right? Oh, here, let me, uh... Let me actually get my notifications here. Uh, where is it? Browser source. Notifications. There it is. Right on. My notifications should be here. All right. So for anyone who doesn't know, they start with an LBLJ, which is a lobby backwards long jump right here. You kind of get stuck in the wall and you build a lot of speed. And it allows you to collide through things. I'm sure a lot of you know about Mario 64 with um, summoning salt. And this level's always like visually pleasing. I'm very interested to see like where a large portion of his mistakes are. Cause even though the best possible time is 135.21, I still, like they're not even close to that. And like, I'm pretty sure my sum of best in Mario, in Mario 3, 100% is like a 109.40, or no, 10940. That's like worse than my time. No, my sub of best in Mario 3, 100%, it's got to be like a 109.10 or something weird like that, right? It's got to be something like that. God, this is so exciting. The first person to get a 137. And this game is always insane. Like, look at that. That was awesome. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on that one, Jabum. I, I definitely think... We were talking about that earlier, like like the difference between... 137 was achieved, yes. I'm so excited. Do you know what's also exciting about watching on YouTube? Is that you can fast forward. Alright, we gotta pay close attention to like his, his lobby movements. He goes for this first star because it cancels out having to go up and then back down. He can go straight to Bowser um, and it cancels out giving the door the stars animation, right? And it also allows him to get, um, crap, it, it, oh, it allows him to go to Babam's battlefield all in one go, right? Oh, wow, this mistake. Is there going to be a reset here? There's got to be a reset here. There's no way he doesn't reset here. Oh, he's not resetting. Yeah, he doesn't need to go to bob -Omb's Battlefield twice. That's right. I am surprised that there's no reset here. It's a good thing he didn't reset here, right? It's so amazing how far the speedrunning communities have come down with their games. That's right. That's right, like it, it's incredible. Oh, he went for salt, okay. So he's, he made up a little bit of time by going for the fast and he got it. Right on. This run like, speed running can be so epic sometimes. Like it's just like, they're like runners are so good at the start and the first like 40 minutes or 30 minutes, especially of a one and a half hour run. Like, 
we're all just so used to them being so good. But then when you get to the second half of the run and like a lot of time has been saved, it's just, it's amazing. I know you guys can't really hear what Liam's saying, but I, I don't think anyone really minds. We just have them on low volume, so it's like, whatever. Nice, that was a pretty good hundred, that was a pretty good hundred coin right there. He's talking about chicken sandwiches. That wouldn't surprise me. Liam is very, uh, not use shampoo when he showers kind of person, so. Chicken sandwiches seem like a top conversation in this stream. Isn't he cheating by looking at the screen? Yeah. You're not supposed to look at the TV when you play, that's cheating. This run is already so clean, except for Owlis. Owlis has not been clean. Yeah, I, I tried, I tried um, my first, oh God, that was hilarious. I tried my first chicken sandwich from, um, God, what's that other popular sub place? Why can't I think of it? Uh, Quizno Sub. It was, uh, it was a chicken. The title doesn't say Mario 3. The game listed is Mario 3. Most people know me for Mario 3, so. Yeah, the mesquite chicken. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna title myself and then, like, put it in Mario 64, because Mario 64 community doesn't know me. Mario 3 community does. Quizno stills operates. Yeah, our flight was delayed yesterday for like two hours. I I have never had Quiznos before. That was my first Quizno sandwich. And it was a pretty decent chicken sandwich too. Nice. So like the funny thing is like this is not the Womp's Fortress. This is not the Womp's Fortress that, that any runner really wants to have. I'm very surprised he didn't reset. Maybe, uh, maybe throughout this night, like throughout the session, he's been kind of reset heavy. Or he knows he can still kind of save time. Wow, so he can still save like a solid four or five seconds. Yo, good to see you, everyone. I hope everyone had a good time. I'm sorry, haven't been around, but you guys have seen me at the speedrun session, which was like, I went to Detroit. Then came back here and I was here for like two days, but we had guests. And then we went to Vegas with the guests. And I wasn't expecting to do anything crazy in Vegas. I mean, I wasn't expecting to like spend any money or anything, which I really didn't. I actually won money um, at the card table in Vegas. It was awesome. Nice. This star was always scary as a kid because you run out of air. So scary. You thought I won big in Vegas and retired? I didn't win that big in Vegas. I won like a, like a, it was like a $3,000 hand, which is pretty cool. And I wasn't down at that point either. Yo, Sam, what's going on? <laughs> the Mario drowning animation. I don't know, man. I, I don't think drowning can have, can be dramatic. It's like exactly what it should be. <laughs> Mario, I better not be so dramatic when I drown. I better do it with pride and gracefully. Yeah, they should have a Mario game where Mario dies gracefully, where he's like, last... Wait, does he do the pole here? The, the music before Sonic drowns is very scary. Oh man, I don't know if this is an airship. A Mario 3 airship? You also do the frame walk, okay. Okay, not bad. He got he got in the ship pretty quickly. You surprised? Me? Yeah, that's actually a pretty good uh, pretty good observation. Mario doesn't have a child. I never really thought of that. Yeah, he, he doesn't have any kids. Mario Junior. I mean, so far there is no Mario Junior. There should be a Mario Jr. I think if Mario had a kid, that would take the spotlight off Mario. 
Maybe Mario doesn't want that. Mario is a virgin because Peach is always stolen. He never gets a chance. That's that's what Mario is all about, getting laid. Right? Obviously. I mean, think about it. He's about to settle down and get get nice and dirty and deep in that Peach, and he can't because Bowser steals her. And then that's... He lives in a never-ending cycle. Nice 120 stars so far. That's really sick. This game is so exciting when you don't know. He repro Maybe Mario's life cycle is kind of like how they do it in South Park, where every time Kenny dies, his parents just give birth to a new Kenny. Maybe that's what it's like for Mario. But like, but then who's Mario's parents? <laughs> Mario's son comes back from the future to warn him, warn him about the androids. Mario is Mario's parents. Yeah, he's, he's, he just gives birth to himself. There's so many things wrong with that statement. There's so many things that don't make sense with what I just said. Oh yeah, how many, how many of you guys have the new Mario Party for the Switch? We gotta play that. We gotta play the new Mario Party for the Switch. We have to. This conversation took a weird turn. Right on. We will definitely be playing the new Mario Party on the Switch, for sure. I only got to play one game, and I loved it. You hate that you have to use Joy-Con? Like, you personally? Because I don't have to use Joy-Cons. Also, I'm in the works right now of getting the MFP hats. I gotta, like, explode it on, on social media because people are going crazy. I'm gonna do another hundred hats. It's the last Mario Party that requires Joy- Yeah, I, I don't know. The Superstar, I didn't use Joy-Cons. I used- I used the Pro Controller. Nice, looking good. Yeah, get your dances in, everyone. This song slaps. This song slaps hard. Nice, JRB's almost done. It's not a whole lot that's special with JRB. He really hasn't messed anything up. His movement has been quite tight. Um, even on the ship, ship looked good. Oh yeah, Super Mario Party sucked. It was horrible. Didn't you get like five stars for like participating in the mini game? Like you, the game gives you five coins for coming in last still or some three coins. So stupid. Nintendo just completely obliterates competitive like gaming that is exciting. Yeah, participation trophies. Yeah, Nintendo's turning into a Pee Wee Football League. Mario Party has been made to be cutthroat. Did you guys see in the new Mario Party though? It, it, it tells you to not use the palm of your hands, but like, who doesn't? It like warns you. Hey, nice, he got in, that was easy. Oh yeah, yeah, they use weird cameras in this game all the time to reduce leg, yep. That's like, there's big time saves in this game by just all leg reduction strats, for sure. It's insane. Nice. He's definitely gonna save time here, right? Ew, look at that. Juicy time save. Um... Not... No, I don't think you want Super Mario Party. Just look at the date. Uh, Cubby, Cubby Two-Tone. Just look at the date in the store. 
Uh, the one you want came out October like 30th or some shit, right? Yeah, the one that came out this year. Got all the goats. Yeah, Superstar is great. 12-6. He got 12-6. Yo, thank you for the raid. I really appreciate that. Nice. So he's already minus five seconds. This is so hot right now. But, like, he's always minus this, right? Like, he always has, like... It's crazy how good he's gotten where it's like, like a mid 138 was like something that nobody can get. Cause like even right now, Cheese is struggling to beat his 138 23 or something. And Liam's just always on pace for like a 137. So Mitch, what game is your favorite and least favorite to 100% speed run? Well, I guess with the Mario Marathon, which we're gonna do a Mario Marathon before the year's over, by the way, don't forget. Um, yeah, we got to end this year with a bang because the last few months have been really hard for me to stream and stuff. Yeah, yeah, the last few months have been so dumb with, like, my wisdom teeth, and then we had to get new furnace and AC. And then I, I was working on, like, a YouTube video, which is about halfway done, which is, I'm pretty excited about that. Hey! My first five, five gift subs since I've been back. Thank you very much. Marking calendar, that's right. I was going to do it this weekend, but I actually have my birthday dinner this weekend. My birthday's on Saturday. My birthday's on Saturday. I'll be 33 years old, or 34, I can't remember. Can't remember. Um, Yeah, yeah, so we have lots of stuff. We're going to bring the hats. What, YouTube video? Uh, I'm doing a YouTube video about my Any% percent No Wrong Warp. It's probably going to be like 15, 20 minutes long, in-depth stuff. You like it. That's what you want to hear. Um, all right, here we go. So here's Babam's Battlefield. This is a very important level in the speedrun. Uh, this is like one of the small parts of RNG in this game. So let's hope this goes well. DMTM, what up, dude? How you doing, man? You always come around for my birthdays. Yes. All right, so this went pretty good. It always scares me how close they jump to the bomb bombs like hands and stuff. You gave out the upside pipe trick to the community. What is the upside pipe trick? Look at these D-like strats, yeah. Your birthday's in two days? Happy early birthday. All right, so for anyone who doesn't know this about Mario 64 is that the Koopa actually walks a little bit faster. Right there. So when you touch the flag and the timer stops, the Koopa actually starts to walk faster. So the main goal is to touch the flagpole as fast as you possibly can. And then after that, you have like 30 seconds before the Koopa gets there. Uh, Scorpio crew. Wait, you found the credits warp DMTM like nine years ago, 10 years ago or some crap. It was like 2013, wasn't it? I think I was the first person to do it in a run, the wrong warp. Right on. All right, so this star is looking hot right now. That this uh, this bob is looking pretty hot. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Yeah, so you do Bowser in the Dark World so he can get the cap, so he doesn't have to come here twice. Nice.
Yeah, man, you can't do anything. Uh, you can't do anything uh, without the Mario Three Task community skulking about. They're always there, trying to get down. Oh, nice little speed strat with the speed kick. Yes, dude. Oh, but then he like side bonked the the block there. Sweet. Nice. Hey, I can do that trick. All right, I know how to do that trick. I'm not new to that trick. Yeah, we have so much shit to do, guys. We got like Mario Party with community. We need to do a Mario Marathon. We gotta get my hats out. My hats, my hats are gonna be coming. Hats are gonna be coming. Unfortunately, all my plans do not revolve around doing more in-depth Mario. Like, what am I supposed to do, guys, right? Like, what? what is my next? Mario 3 paid the bills, but like I'm done Mario 3. Like what am I supposed to do? Run like run 100%? I'm not going up against the 10938. Are you guys crazy? My any percent no wrong warp is also a stupid Oh yeah, I got my new tattoo. Oh, you guys can't see it. There it is. I got the P meter on the other side. See now I got both P meters. World domination, a 49 and warpless. I can't do that without early hammer manipulation. And if I'm gonna do early hammer manipulation, I'm gonna do it on emulator. Some more Mega Man. Oh, he missed one coin. That's kind of bad. This is a very important star right here. This is like crazy important. Not, not more important than everyone's mom, so that's always a good thing. Oh, you missed another coin. What the fuck? Okay, so this star is going to be shitty, I guess. Am I going to run more dread? Uh, I think I'll eventually run more dread, but right now I'm like, I should have done this before. Wait, wait for all the chips to fall. I didn't wait. I didn't wait for all the all the cards or chips or whatever you want to say to fall, because like as I got really comfortable with what I was doing, everything changed, right? And you just create more work for yourself. So yeah, so this is a pretty good star, like set uh, sixty eight coins. Ah Heading over here is actually pretty good. Hey, twenty months, welcome back. Good to see you. How's everyone doing? Right on, okay. Pretty good. Nice. Good, good coins here. This uh, this was actually pretty good. Good coin RNG. Uh, coins are pretty close. What's it? Is he, is he still going to be ahead by five, I think? Yep, pretty close. Yeah, you can't do that. I know. Yeah, yeah, you can't do the trick. Can't do the trick. And then I can just have it. Delivered grilled cheese, dude. I haven't. I've just had the the one part about when you're out on vacation or you're not at home is like you're always forced to eat a whole bunch of stuff. Thank you. And then you get home and you're like, you get home and then you're happy about like a ham sandwich, right? So that's pretty good. Nice. I don't know how to do that trick with the bomb. I've never done that trick before. I will hold on, hold on. I didn't miss anything in the SSL, right? You just did one star. Yeah, and this was pretty good. Well, this was actually kind of slow here. Watch. Yeah, right here. That was just a little slow, but not that, like, trust me. Not that bad. Oh, 
Okay. Well, he doesn't really, like, he doesn't skip Snowman's Land. He just doesn't do it yet. Because he does have to come upstairs one more time, right? Oh, is that new D-Lag? The C left there? I remember when that trick came out, it was, like, super hard. All right, type one if you like ketchup with your grilled cheese and type you guys are freaks if you don't. I love ketchup with my grilled cheese. So good. Freaks? We're not freaks. No way. What? You're telling me like two people like ketchup with their grilled cheese? What? Yeah, I know I know that about Jabum. I got reported, yeah. Oh god, that that cap grab. Oh my god. His hat won't run out. Oh wow. Oh my god, he missed the coin too. What the? That is a slight redeeming factor right there. His red coins fell apart. Fell apart. That's crazy. Oh, what? That never happens. That happens. Yeah, you see that a lot. But when does that bomb not blow up? When does that bomb not blow up? The fly guy. Like that never, I've never seen that. Out of all the SSLs in my life that I've watched, I've never seen that. Also, yeah, he didn't get the rollout on the top and he got the bonk from the pokey. It's crazy how he's still going and not resetting. Like I said, I mean, you guys have watched me play a shit ton of Mario 3. Like, maybe this is, like, a heavy reset night, and this is, like, his first run of the night after, like, four hours where it's, like, whatever. I'll just continue. Oh, that's so cool. That's such a weird double jump. You, like, kick fall off the ledge or something. I don't even get it, man. You think, you think he did this run at 4 a.m.? That would explain it. Yeah. It was, what, his last run? All right. That little thirsty. All right. Yeah, all of his runs are at 4 a.m. 
Wow. So Liam has at least, I, he's got like 40 seconds to save, right? Am I crazy or do you think he has like 40 seconds to save in this in this level? That's crazy. Well, his gold was 14 seconds. He just lost 10. Yeah, maybe 30. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how his... Uh... I swear, I want to dedicate my life... I want to dedicate my life... To figuring out a way to make sure the blue coin falls off the ledge every single time. I want that to be my life. I love this. This is so cool. Yeah. Everything just smooths out. It's so crazy. It all looks so cool. Look at it. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, the N, the N sixty four tilt. That's hilarious. Yeah, right on. He got right through it. Fuck yeah. That's sick. Good for him. He needed something like that, right? Like a little, a little extra time. All right, come on, coin. Yeah, I want to dead it. I wonder if you run counterclockwise, the coin falls off more often. Did the coin fall? I, I looked at the ground. I didn't look above. Oh, wow. Right there. Are you kidding me? This game's just teasing him. Right? This is how it happens, though. You guys have watched me enough in Mario 3. This is exactly how it happens, right? Right? You you mess up something, like, physically, like, a, actually, like, a skillful trick, and then a bunch of RNG works, right? That's when you get no hands. When you're plus 10 seconds off your PB. Oh, no. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, the backup. You guys remember, like, a long time ago, you'd watch runners, like, reset in this game? From, like, silly mistakes? Wow, what the heck? Come on, game. Oh, he's intending this. That's right. I'm dumb. Yeah, nice. He got it. That's so sick. It was intentional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Yeah. Well, half the time they don't go for that in runs. Yeah, the toxic... Be yeah, yeah. But, the, but most people don't even go for that anymore. Because by the time you're at HMC, you're either ahead or behind. And if you're behind, you go for it. And if you're ahead, they, most runners get too scared. Oh, come on, man. This block's being so stupid. There we go. Did you guys know that you can die if you triple jump? So, so here's an interesting question I want to get community's opinion on it. Why do you guys think that Cheese is struggling um, to beat his time, whereas Liam is constantly in the green and PBing? Like, do you think it's because Liam took, like, a year break? Do you think Cheese, like, needs more practice? Like, what do you guys think it is? Like, just as spectators, it's like watching sports, talking about your favorite athlete, and, like,
You think it's fatigue? But like Cheese has been like on and off. He he hasn't been hardcore grinding Mario 64, right? Like he he was taking a break and he was doing he did Cheese did um was it Battlegrounds? No, he did uh He did Call of Duty, Cheese did for like how many months? Yeah, also Liam does that, Aaron, before he starts his runs, too. Yeah, Liam does all that shit. So, so as a speedrunner myself, breaks are very important. Breaks are very important, but also breaks are not important when you're a full-time streamer. That's See, that's the problem that it faces. Whereas me, if I need a break, I take a break. Like, I'll go broke before I mentally strain myself to the point of, like, depression, right? When I'm when I'm not feeling it, like, you can't do it. And we... A lot of people complain about that when it comes to streaming, but at the same time, you should be grateful that you are at least able to not have to stream for two weeks if you don't feel like it. I don't think anyone in my chat right now can go to their boss and be like, I don't feel like coming to work for two weeks, so I'm not going to. And when I come back... I better have a job waiting for it, right? It doesn't work like that in the real world, but in the streaming world, you have the ability to do that. So I always tell streamers, like, if you're not feeling it, you should, you have to stop and take a good break. And I'm not saying anyone specifically is feeling that way. I'm just giving advice as a streamer. Yo, Mega Marino, what's going on? What's going on, dude? Yeah, so I'm kind of curious about the competitive aspect of Mario 64 right now when it comes to Cheese versus Simply, because I know Cheese is putting in the time right now. He's obviously putting in the time, um, but Cheese was, like, better than everyone at Mario 64 for, like, so long. He's deemed one of the best Mario 64 runners, and he's, like, the face of Mario 64 too, right? When it comes when it comes to, like, you know, any kind of sponsors or, or uh, speedrunning and streams and stuff like that, like... Yeah, I'm just curious. I wonder if practice. Yippee! I wonder if practice is one you of the two things. Took a break. Glad to see you're back. You two took a break. Yeah, man. What up? Good to see you. Oh no. Okay, nice. Wow, that was close. Yeah, Liam is now. Yeah, Liam uh, last year was not though. Liam wasn't. He was one of the best Mario 64 speedrunners, but he wasn't popular at all. Every time I see Cheese doing attempts, he always seems like he doesn't want to be doing it at the moment. Yeah, I think Cheese is a little bit more interested in the, the reaction videos, YouTube stuff, content, stuff like that, which is perfectly fine. I can definitely see a, a slight difference between the way Liam is playing the game mentally versus Cheese, I guess. Which, I mean, if you play good, you play good. Sometimes your mental headspace, like, it doesn't matter. Short categories are getting destroyed by teenagers. Hey, Alex, how's it going? How's you and KLM? I know this record happened while we were all hanging out and stuff, so... Well, actually, this record happened while I was at um, speedrun session. And this, this, uh, this... His HMC was really good. Like, that's some juicy times. Like, he saved 14 seconds in HMC alone, right? 13 seconds from 120 star. Oh, the speedrunner session was amazing. Did you guys enjoy it? Uh, any of those who watched it, did you guys enjoy the speedrunner session? I know, I miss you guys already. What do you mean you guys are getting older and you can't keep up? I've been on top of Mario 3 for like 13 years. And the only reason I'm not playing right now is because, well, I don't want to sound like a douchebag, but... I have nothing to compete with. I started at minus 20. Yeah. Yo, did you guys order Grimwood yet? 
Grimwood's insane. Yeah, I don't want to sound like a douchebag, obviously, but I mean, if somebody beat my record in Mario 3 today, one of my records, you better believe world record attempts would start tomorrow. Right? Yeah, but getting rusty is so yeah, getting rusty at something is supposed to be a good thing because when you come back, you don't have the bad habits and you're allowed to let let your mind like I I it I did I don't know, man. It's all about time and, and dedication. Like you could be 60 years old and beat my Mario 3. There's nothing stopping you. You might not be able to play for seven hours like me because your hands hurt, but trust me, after doing Mario 3 for as long as I am, my hands can hurt too. So, I don't know. Phase 3, Mitch comes back. <laughs> What's Phase 2? The bad habits. Which world record do I think I'll lose first? God, I don't know. I've had the warpless record for like five years now, haven't I? Well, your reaction speed does get slower as you age, but that's different with speedrunning because with speedrunning, you're not reacting at the moment. You might when you make mistakes, but speedrunning is like music. It's like you follow the scale, right? So like, that's why you can see 70 year old musicians better than 14 year old music, uh, musicians, right? Because when you're following a sheet music, there's nothing unexpected and you just learn how to play with it. And that's the same as speedrunning. You don't have, like, the only time you react on the fly in this game is during mistakes. And if you're already making a mistake, then, you know, it's kind of already not what you want. But I do agree, like, you're not wrong. I think it can go both ways though. Like, good luck being 70 and learning Mario 64 from the start. Like, that ain't gonna happen, right? What I, would I consider, what, sh should I do a triple threat today? Guys, I'm very lost right now. Guys, you, have, you guys have to understand with my Mario 3 being done, like I'm technically retired from Mario 3 right now. There's nothing for me to do. Yeah, it's weird. As I'm getting older, I'm becoming a better musician. It's interesting. Get the Dread World Record. I don't know. Dread, Dread is very fun, but I missed out on the last week of everything, so I, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and let Dread... Uh, hold on. The song... The song is really annoying. I hate this song so much. There we go. Full time Mario. Well, that's one thing. I can definitely play Mario Party with you all. And I can do Mario marathons, right? I'm very ex I'm going to do another Mario marathon before the year's over. I'm going to I'm I got these hats. I'm going to get ready to sell some hats here. All right. We're going to I'm probably going to do another 100 um and you guys pay your own shipping. So I'm going to do a flat rate for the hats, probably like 35 bucks for the hats and you guys pay for your own shipping and then yeah. Just in time for Christmas. No, I'm not gonna be a Mario 64 speedrunner, but I think I might get in, involved with like reacting. Move up in the Grand Pool World 2 leaderboard. I could do that as well, yeah. Move up in the Grand Pool World 2. It's very hard for me to get involved with something because when I set my mind to it, I feel like I should just dedicate all my time to try and become the best. Which I think, I think it's a bad thing. I should be grateful that, I, that I'm the best at Mario 3 and that I have that, and then I should enjoy the little things in other games. Do I have an addictive personality? When I am very interested in something, yes. I will never run Super Mario World. That is a horrible speed game. And I don't think I'll run Mario 1. That game's very boring. The speed running is very exciting. I should do more. I don't think I have time to get all the stuff for loot crates. 
I honestly, I think what made my loot crates very good was the fact that I had a hundred copies of Mario three. I don't think I can get another hundred copies of Mario three. So I'd have to find something to supplement. I do like the idea of holiday loot crates. I think it's a little too late for me to organize that though. Not with that attitude. Well, maybe let, let me get the Let me see how fast I can get the hats. We'll see. How fast did we get the box? We're gonna, I'm going to have to talk to Kaylee about this. How did I get 100 copies of Mario 3? I called GameStop and was like, give me 100 copies. I know, the holiday flowers, I know. Can, can, what, can you ask Kaylee where she, got, where, where she got the boxes? I can't really ask her right now, but... Yeah! I wonder, I guess... So what do I have? Boxes, hats... Pins, yeah, we have we need pins, stickers, the car air fresheners, all with the Christmas emote. The box is gonna be hard because all of the emotes on the original box have to be converted into the Christmas with the hats. Boxes, hats, world records. But what would I put in place instead of a copy of Mario 3? I wouldn't know. That'd be very exciting. That is that that actually is uh, pretty interesting. How big of a uh celeb are you, by the way? Do you get recognized? No, I don't get recognized. I'm not a celebrity at all. Oh, I'm not a celebrity at all. I don't think I'd want to be a celebrity. I'm very, I'm a very introvert kind of person. I'm, I'm very outgoing, definitely, but I'm very, um, like independent, uh, like introvert style. Like I love, I love the GDQs and the speed sessions, and I love meeting all of you, but I would hate to be stopped on the street every five minutes to take pictures and stuff. That's very different. It's very, very different. I'm top 5% famous. Yeah, my goal in video games was never to be famous. It was to be the best at something, you know, try my heart, try my best at something. Hey, Runwise, how you doing? Hi, Neo. I don't see Neo. Where's Neo? Good thing I hate pictures. Well, you, well, if you see me at GDQ, you're getting a picture. Nice try. Hey, Mitch, can I take a picture with you? But I'm not going to be in the picture. Is that okay? <laughs> Tickets were sold out, so you went to the bars instead. You could have actually um, asked about it, I think. I can't remember. Yo. Yo, Andrew, what's going on? Welcome back for six months. Getting a sub for Mr. Zipper? Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, that juicy split. That was insane. This this was actually a really, really good level. Did you guys, did you guys see on, uh, I posted on, I didn't post on Instagram yet, but I got, I finished, I finished my tattoo set. So, um, yeah, let me show you. Oh, hey guys. I got the, uh, you know how I always have this one? Right? And this one, this one is obviously not a P meter, right? Like, cause the, the triangles are white when you get P speed, right? And then it flashes. So when I was in Vegas, I decided I had to get this one. So now I have the not triangles filled. So now I got the set. Yeah, I got the set. And I made sure, I made sure that they lined them up perfectly. Yeah, they're lined up perfectly. They're awesome. Hey, Zil Tom, what's going on? Oh, shut up, Alex. You have like a trillion tattoos. I wish my camera was focused. How about that? Let's try and get this baby focused. Oh, oh. Hey, guys. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. Wait, no, now it's not focused anymore. How do I, I need to do it where I, cause I need to be up close. No, that's awful. I think I need to go the other way. Oh, beautiful. There we go. What's up guys. Look at that focus. Oh, 
Okay, so I have one more thing left to do at the dentist, everyone. I'm getting my front four teeth crowned because they're all chipped and gross. So I might miss a couple days of stream from that. That's going to hurt like a bitch because all the needles in the front and stuff. But that's the last thing I need to do and I'm finally going to have a pretty smile. I'll probably cry when I get it. I have not liked my smile for a very long time. Who's that dude behind me? That's Liam. All right, let's get back to it. Minus 26, dude. How, like, he had so much time to save. Whoa, wrong wrong video. Like, how did he have 12, 12 seconds to save? I mean, everything went great in this level. And then the head. I'm curious about what his mistake was before. Oh, yeah, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt like a bee sting. My shiny teeth and me. So what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna I'm gonna get my white whitening trays that I have to go get. Yeah, well I had two root canals one done two weeks ago, two crowns put on this left side, but they were root canals already ah! done, so. Hey, welcome back for 20 months, good to see you. Um Yeah. Yeah, so it's gonna be exciting. Oh, right through the door. Nice, you got it. Let's go. Nice. God, Liam is so consistent all the time. I hate this room so much. Oh, he got the door though. He got the door, that's sick. So this is where the run matters, right? You can see he knows he's 26 seconds ahead. He's on pace for the 137. Now it's very important for him like he knows, right? This is where speedrunners, this is where the skill of speedrunners really takes place. When when they get to the point where they're in a run, they're on pace um, for like the iconic time, right? The first time ever 137 or in like other games, like even Mario 3, the first time 109, like I would be more nervous for a run that was on pace for a 109 than a run that wasn't, but was better than the pace that was on the 109, right? Like. The, the ability to get that new iconic time is like, and crazy. So watching someone like plow through this and not make mistakes, that's what's insane. So we'll see how this goes. He didn't get, he didn't get through the door in this room right here. This room right here, he didn't get through the door, but that's okay. A little bit of a time loss if he got it in his other run. Now he's going for the 120 star or 100 coin star. Does anyone know how many coins are in this level? It's something dumb. It's like one... Oh, you had to get one coin. That sucks. Oh, we messed up the wall kick. Which one? To the wall kicks will work or whatever? The one below the level? Dude, KLM, I thought it was like 160 something. Yeah, the moment you know your head is like when, yeah, 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 yeah. 120, yeah, it might actually be 127. Nice, so he wanted to get a triple jump there after grabbing the two blue coins, but unfortunately he didn't get that. So there, so he is losing a little bit of time in this level if his previous run was like as perfect as this, which I don't think it was since he's got 8.2 from gold. Nice. That was that was a good enough hunter coin, but that definitely was not perfect. Right on. He's got to get so he's got a couple more. I've always hated the top of the top of the mansion. One fifty one per Google. That's so many, dude. That's so many. Hundred and four coins? That's so bad. This game was so hard as a kid. Oh, the wall rub. 
How does that work, man? When I spin around the eyeball, he never spins, but then in the speed run, they just like go in the eyeball and turn, and then the eyeball is looking at them. Like, is there something about Hitbox where like when you're in the eye, like he'll always look at you or something? So hard as a kid. Yeah, in Rainbow Ride, when I was a kid, I would always only get one blue coin. When I was a kid, I wasn't good at the wall kicks. So I'd hit the switch, right? And I'd get the first blue coin, but then, then I couldn't wall kick all the way up and get the rest. Either that or the camera screwed me over and I didn't know where they were. Right on. Oh, that it it looks so easy, but that like wall jump is so awkward. Oh no, dude! It's so annoying to watch like pro speedrunners mess up things like a long jump, right? Instead of like a hard trick. Oh, where did you lose time in this run? I don't know. I missed like four long jumps. TikTok clock was very intimidating as a kid, of course. That was, TikTok clock was insane. What do you guys think? Should we do some Mario 3 after this? Maybe do, uh... Maybe do like a triple threat challenge or something. It's not going to be amazing, but at least we can we can uh, have fun, hang out with some Mario Three, play it a bit. No, we're going to do Mario Sixty Four during the Mario Marathon, which is going to be in like a week or something. I just got to get some artwork, artwork done up for it, um, like the the visual the visual ad, um, another overlay. I guess it'll be the the Mario Marathon number what. Mario Marathon 5, I think? And no, he didn't save another 26 second, but he didn't lose any time. Which is unfortunate because he had 8.5 seconds to save in BBH. Or so, yeah, BBH. Where's this world record pizza? Am I? Well, I've always only played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 casually. I've, all, I've always only played it casually. Ah, where? Where's the guy? Yeah, I actually have no artist right now, so it's probably going to be me and Kaylee. <laughs> Making the overlays and shit. We'll most likely do the games incentive thing as well, because that's that's that was so much... People went insane to pick their own games. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yo, regular size Audrey, you welcome back for 14 months. Thank you. Breath of the Wild 100%. Oh my God. I, I've never even played that game before. Excuse me, what you say? I gotta go to the bathroom again. You guys have to drop me off at the hotel. So there's another emergency. The steak sweats. Yo, Mega Ran, what's going on? How do you get the sub here? Very nice. Normally Liam is very fast at the sub, but I guess he's gotta go on the left side. Then. Oh, nice. That's so scary. Sub hype, yeah, that's right. I'm excited to get back into the groove.
Yeah, Donkey Kong Country 2 is actually going to be in this marathon as well. Nice gold, dude. Sick. Yes, not that's not a big gold. Did that just drop? Did that drop his sum of S? Well, drop. Oh, he's only got best possible time. Okay. Do, 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 do. Nice. I don't know anything about Donkey Kong Country 2, so that'll be exciting for me. Oh, and since Sega's on the Switch, we could add an incentive for like Sonic 2 or something. I can't remember the last. Oh, 69 stars, guys. Let me get a nice in chat. Can we chant a nice? Nice. Nice. Let's go. Sexy. Ice. Ice, baby. Yo, first time chatter, what's up? Getting in on that 69 niceness. Do you, you would not believe how many times in Ultimate Texas Hold'em I flip over my cards, 6-9. <laughs> All the time. Nice, he just needs 71. All right, here we go. This is, let's see. So obviously gonna get the cycle. This level for some reason just has stress inducing. Does he do no, this is 120, so there's no reason for pull glitch, right? Yeah, pull glitch wouldn't really help. Nice. Nice he had to turn. Oh, it's so clean. Very nice. I love it. Whee! I would think they're going to bonk their head there. One year away from the 69 months. Nice. One year away from the 60. Yeah, ACB 84. Look at that. 57. God damn, man. Welcome back. Thank you very much. You good to see all of you. Nice. That was a clean star. That was, that was how we wanted it to go for sure. Yeah, it's, oh no, come on, that was so lame. You wanna know what's awesome about watching this on YouTube? Sweet. What? He had six seconds to save? Wow. This run is disgusting. Yeah, I feel like I feel like all games have that kind of difference between any percent and the medium percent versus hundred percent. Like the way I do eight one, in any percent no wrong warp, I don't do in warpless or hundred percent. Not even close. Not even close to worth it. Not a chance. Yeah, that's it. That's insane. Yeah, he only gets four stars here, or three stars here, right? So I can't imagine he, I can't imagine he's got any kind of time save going on here. Yeah, I can't imagine huge time saves here. So his big time saves in this run so far is uh SSL and Womp's Fortress, right? Womp's Fortress. Yo, thanks, Narfman. Oh, Narfman, message me on 
uh, Discord so I can get that copy to you. Yeah, Womp's Fortress and SSL. But, see, this is the difference, right? The run he's going up against has trickles of time. Well, BBH, he still has the eight seconds to save. Wow, dude. Within the next year, the next nine months, we're gonna see 120 <laughs> be probably like a 137 2X for sure. Yo, Frantic, welcome back for 25 months. Good to see you. Uh, let me know when you're playing it as well, Narf Man, because I'll be I'll want to be there to watch watch you play Mini Kaizo. Look at that! He lost two seconds. Wow, reset. Nice. When I was a kid, I loved this level. I don't know why. I just thought the idea was cool. I feel like Wet Dry World and like Big Little Land are like li like towards Mario 3 kind of stuff. I don't know what it was. But I, I, I liked Upstairs more than Attic, right? Like these sets of levels were my favorite, except, except Little little Big Island or what, what it's called in this game? Little Big Land or some shit. I didn't like it. I didn't like that level. Oh, come on, wall jump. Why? Like, we know why. It's just... Tiny huge island, that's right. THI. <laughs> Julia, thank you for the 100 bits. And we started a hype train. Very nice. Thank you. God, this trick always looks so hard. I remember when that trick was invented. It was like the next big time save. Hey, SK, welcome back for 32 months. Good to see you. And thank you for the bits. Boom. I love that little pop on the on the enemy. It's crazy. Most runners couldn't even do this once like three years ago, but now. Now it's like you have to do it twice in a run. Yo, Julian, thank you very much. Welcome back for the or no, that's a tier one sub, thank you. Good to see you. Let's go. Very appreciative guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guys, KLM didn't believe me that I got that straight flush. He's like, no, you didn't. It's because two seconds before I told him, I told him I lost like 4,000 bucks, which I didn't. Hey, Narfman, 137. Thank you. For oh, 137. Nice. Let's go. You can welcome back for five months. Five months streak. Good to see you. Thank you. Very nice hype train going on. All right. He, def he definitely has a little bit of time save in this level so far. Whoa! What did he do in his last run to lose 17 seconds in this level? Does anyone know? Oh, come on. I don't think he's gonna... No, he's definitely not gonna max out his 17 seconds here. Do they want a ledge grab there? I don't think so, right? Nice. Oh, no! Oh, come on, dude. This is probably one of the easier levels in the whole run, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Hey, 
tier one done. Look at that celebration, all the fireworks. Hey, that's new. Look at all that shit. Thank you. Thank you very much, Red, for the Prime Gaming. Prime Gaming is free, that is right. Prime Gaming is free. Thank you very much. Big party. Cowabunga. Which Mega, which Mega Man should I add to the Mario Marathon this time? I think I should add Mega Man 9, right? Mega Man 9 is the, I did four last time. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to not do Mega Man 3. That's the one I know. Yo, Budos with the Prime Gaming, thank you very much. Thank you for that free subscription. If you already have Amazon Prime, you can sub to me for free with Prime Gaming if you haven't already. Yeah, 9 is great. I'm gonna have my Switch on, I might as well do Sonic as well. Yippee! The real Freckle, Prime Gaming for four months. That is three people with Prime who, who help support me for free. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh man, we could have we could have seen, dude. We could have seen minus like 50. No, minus like 40 something, right? How about the first Mega Man? No, we'll do Mega Man 9, I think. Super Mario Sunshine is banned from all Mariothons. I'm sorry, Alex. But we can play that when I'm not in a marathon setting and actually enjoy it. Galaxy 2? Well, we get to continue Galaxy 1. We still have to- we still have to continue Galaxy 1, remember? That was very clean. He's only got 3.6 seconds to save in this one. <laughs> Fair enough. Whatever, you did two spins right there. God, this level is just seems so awkward in all aspects. Yo, you have a good day as well, Nacho Fizz. Good to see you. Why is there an Asian guy behind you, Mitch? Is Mitch in the Squid Game? Yes, in the Squid Games. How much do you guys think that Squid, Squid Game Season 2 will not be as good as 1 because we already know the idea and concept, so it won't be as popular? Oh, the water. Okay, so Liam has time to save in Womp's Fortress, BBH, SSL, um, the, the one level he was just in, Wet Dry World, and a little bit here in Tiny Huge Island so far. They're gonna really, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna make a Squid Game season two. Oh, that's right, Poison Powder, that's right, yes. So as you can see with his, with his times, like, he's just getting what is natural to him right now. It's it's weird to think about. It. So, like, I feel like this isn't hard for him because he's practiced so much. He's so consistent and he's so good at what he does that, like, the game, like, he's finally just getting the time he deserves. Right? Like, he, he, like, he earned this time, like, a month ago. It's just now it's, it's all caught up with him, right? So, like, you're going to see a lot... A lot of low 138s from Leon from now on because that's just going to be standard for him now. He's like he's upgraded. This is, you can obviously tell he's 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 had some kind of breakthrough or upgrade like mentally and physically with this game. Whereas like three months ago, you know, getting the 138.13 was a little bit of a challenge. But now, just watch. You're going to see him starting to get 137s. It's kind of like it's kind of like when I was going for the for the 109 in Mario. Do you guys remember when I was going for the 109 in Mario 3? 
And then it was like so hard for me to get a 109. And then all of a sudden, I got I got four 109s, didn't I? I got a 109.58 or something. Then a 109.52 or something. Some, I, don't, I can't remember. It was it was obvious that I upgraded my consistency or something, right? I don't know what else to call it. Oh, I had the 59. Then the... F I can't remember. Korean shows hardly ever have multiple seasons. Must be heavy never... Uh, yeah, Squid Game is the number one most watched Netflix show of all time. Yeah, on Netflix. I don't think it's the most watched show in existence of all time. Aw, oh, come on, Flower. That's so lame. <laughs> yeah, maybe you guys could Google it and and find out. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. I love that long jump. It just looks so cool. Bing it. Fourteen nine. Do do. Did anyone ever, did anyone get the answer or no? Do we know? GLHF Mitch, dropping in at work lurk. Hey, Mad Lad Cobra 91. Welcome back for 39 months. I announced that there's going to be another Mario Marathon, Cobra. So make sure to book some time off. I don't want to happen what happened last time where you had to miss most of it because of work. All right. So whenever I announce the release or whenever I release the dates, you make sure. No, 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 about um, the most watched show on Netflix of all time. Hey, he got it, nice, look at that. I know, I can't wait for the marathon either. I just gotta get dates and times and some artwork done, that's about it. Oh, come on, nice. He's got about five seconds to save in this level too. This run is so hot. You don't have any more people. Yeah, just tell me you're pregnant. You need time away. You can't miss Mario RPG, you know? That's a must. What am I eating, guys? What the? That looks so bad. There you go, SK. Yeah, j honestly, just tell your bosses, be like, Mitch has had a really rough third half of the year with the dentist and his AC and furnace and his internet. And now he's back. 
He just came back from a speedrun session, and now he's back. So he's gonna do a Mario Marathon, and we have to we can't we have to watch it. Did I just say third half? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I still think I have a lot of alcohol in my system for Vegas. I went to this meat place where, oh my God, it was so amazing. It was in Vegas and um, Alex took us there. I can't remember what it's called, but holy fuck. This meat place, I ate so much meat that I had like nine beers later that night and I was only buzzed. It was ridiculous. So. So what happens is that they have like hundreds, like not hundreds, but so many kinds of meats, flavored meats, like steak and chicken and sausage. And then like all different ways of making it. Was it Brazilian grill? I think, I think so. I think it was. They have all the meat on the stick and they just come to your table and they're like, you want this? And they just cut it and give it to you. And you have like a, you have like a red or green label on your table. And if it's green, that means you want more meat. Yeah, oh my fuck, it was so good. That was like one of, one of the best restaurants I've ever been to. Yep. It was so good. Holy crap. When I heard like all you could eat like meat and stuff like that at a price, I was like, this is gonna be some shitty rundown, low quality meat. I, I was wrong. I mean, you gotta pay for it, but I was wrong. Yeah. I think I was quiet for 30 minutes straight. I don't think I opened my mouth. Hey, E-Rock, how you doing? Yeah, when I when I had my Quiznos sub yesterday, it was the first time I had Quiznos. I had like the mesquite chicken or whatever. Actually, it was a very good sandwich. I got it toasted, but they had a tuna melt there and ever since that stupid Star Kiss shit or whatever tuna company came out, with whatever crap problems they had. There was like one where it was like, there was like, there was a lot of tuna that was like poison. There was a big recall. And then, and then there was another thing about canned tuna where if you put it on the microscope, there's like so much plastic and like all this weird shit. I don't, I'm not a crazy person. who's like, don't eat the tuna, like blah, blah, blah. But like now I actually won't order tuna out at food, like at restaurants and stuff because I don't know where they're getting it from. And tuna is, has been such a weird problem for the last like five years for, uh, I don't really need it. I want it. I like tuna a lot. Tuna sandwiches are really good. You're cleaning out your GDQ, oh no. Hey, you better watch out. I acted alone, remember. There's a chain in Texas like that. Yeah, check it out. As you're eating tuna, well, I don't know. Store-bought canned tuna just seems like it's getting such a bad rap right now. I don't want to eat any of it. I know nothing. I've been pretty good, man. How you doing? I've been sitting here talking to you guys watching this run which has been amazing. This coin RNG is okay. No, no bad. Oh, the punch miss. Tall Tall Mountain was really good. He did get, he did get breezeless. Um, his eight reds were pretty good too. His hundred was pretty good. So.
Why is the celery giving my tongue a weird taste? Like, what the fuck? It's like numbing it or something. I don't know, it's weird. Well, I better keep eating it. Make sure. Science. Oh no, it's tuna and the celery. Not bad, that was pretty good. Oh, come on, coin. Nice, he definitely is going to have some time to save in this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, Liam's playing. This is the new Mario 64 120 star world record. That happened while I was in Detroit last week and I missed it. So, oh. Oh, what? First try. Let's go. Right through, too. What the heck? Mm, mm, mm. God, that triple jump always scares me. that that's insane like I know it's easy because it's just like the way flying works but visually it just looks like you're just not gonna make it what a weird triple jump oh don't grab the pole don't grab the pole nice he wasn't even close to that coin look at this it's so stupid look at he grabbed it I don't think so it is so ridiculous look at this what? It's so dumb. Wait, you lose a full two minutes if you die in this level? Wait, how is this best possible time a 137 right now? You telling me you can still save over 40 seconds here? Considering this level only has 3.2, where is it coming from? Oh, come on. So stupid. Nice, nice! You got- no, don't you- I don't think you lose two minutes. I mean, if you did it at the end of the star. Do, 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 do. Nice, nice, okay. He had a little bit of slip up. Nice. I've never learned that before. I, I kind of, I would. I'd try and learn it just to see what it's like. It looks really hard. This music suits. Nice, yeah. TikTok clock. I'm so glad I watched this run. I've been, I've been way, I've been really wanting to watch it.
Uh, the Mario Marathon will probably be the weekend after this one. Considering my birthday is on Saturday, we're probably going to do some kind of like birthday stream on Friday or something, and maybe Thursday. We'll see what we do. Um, and then I'm going to have my birthday dinner on Saturday, so it'll probably be the next, it'll probably be the next weekend. It'll start on a weekend. Happy early birthday. Thank you. Wow, that was epic. Look at the dive. Whip! Happy Mitch Day, thank you. Hulkster. All right, last one. Huh. Interesting. Waiting for... Is it... Pre it so does anyone know, is it preference? Oh, God. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that strat. That was that was sick. That's probably a little bit of a time. That was sick. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that strat. That's definitely that's that's that might not be new, but he might be adding it into his. Nobody else has added that into the runs. Never seen that. Oh. I'm curious, what causes the coins to explode? That's that's what I want to know. Oh, he tried to ground pound there, but it didn't work. Damn it, dude. How is his best possible time a 137.18 right now? I don't understand. How? He can only, his gold is 10 seconds faster for Rainbow Ride. I'm so confused. I don't get it. Maybe his golds are messed up or something. I don't think he lost time there because he normally kills the fly guy. <laughs> this is a Mario Kart song, isn't it? Oh. Oh no, the chokes, dude. Chat is probably choking hard right now. They're like, he's he's blowing it. Oh yeah, this is Rainbow Ride. Yeah, how did I not know that? <laughs> the nerves are too strong here. You know, you know the nerves are strong when it's like you're messing up basic movement. Not that where he messed up was basic. Like it's still everything's still very difficult and rushed. When is the marathon? I'm going to guess it's it, so it's not going to be this weekend because my birthday is on Saturday and I'm I, doing the family dinner thing. I in doing it this weekend would be so rushed if I announce it right now. Um, I need to get some artwork done. So it's either going to be the next weekend it's going to start or the weekend after that. 20th, 21st or the week a little bit closer to Christmas, maybe. Oh my god, the Rainbow Ride time. That's crazy. The Rainbow Ride music started right here. That's crazy. Yo, feline frequency, thank you. Weekend after is Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'm Canadian, I don't care about that. You guys will be thankful for the Mariothon, right? It'll be perfect. Canadian thank- I already had Canadian Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Canadian Thanksgiving is in October. 
We're thankful earlier than Americans. We were thankful first. Uh, in all honesty, Canada probably copied America. That's what we normally do. Snacks and Sody Pops. That's right. Stock them up. Thanksgiving's a big deal in Canada. I mean, it's not it's not a small enough deal where you could state that it's not a big deal. That's for sure. If I start it, what this weekend coming up? I'm not I'm not doing it this weekend. Like in three days, I'm not doing the marathon. It'll, it'll most likely be the weekend after this one coming up. So I guess next. Is that how that would work? Are we already in saying this weekend? Yeah. Well, it's such a weird mentality, right? If I say next weekend, I mean the weekend coming up is the next weekend, but that's not the weekend you're referring to and neither am I. This weekend is the weekend coming up, but you would only say this weekend during the weekend, right? So yeah, you are right. This weekend, we can't even say this weekend yet because we're not at this weekend. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. Nobody knows, we're all confused. Yeah, so I would say it's not this weekend, it's next weekend. That's what I'd say. During the week, yeah, exactly, exactly. This weekend for the upcoming event. This rainbow, this rainbow. This has been going pretty good. A little bit of movement slip up, but you can't really hang on that too much if you think about it. Mainly because like, you can't imagine what it's like to be like in his situation right now. Yeah, Liam's been giving me a, so a massage for like 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes plus an hour and 20 minutes. Oh, he didn't wait. Didn't matter. It's so crazy. It still blows my mind that those are the same donuts as in like Mario 3. Still blows my mind. It's crazy. Yeah, we'll do some we'll do a little bit of Mario 3 after this. Why not? Maybe uh Yeah, we'll do some Mario 3 after this. Twenty-four seconds in the end. Oh my god. Okay, Liam. Somebody. Liam's gonna get a one a one thirty-six in this game. There's no way he's not. This. What the fuck? This could have been a one thirty-six for sure. I cannot. Like he is so good right now. I'm telling you, man, fucking practice, dude. Practice and healthy breaks, man. Practice and healthy breaks. Nothing is more important in speedrunning. Healthy breaks are almost more important than practice. How do you expect practice to soak in if you don't step away, right? A lot of people don't think that practice and competitive gaming is like a sponge, man. Like, the, like it makes no sense. You can't just drill it in and then expect it. Like, practice is pointless, but it's really not. It, like, you have to take breaks and you have to stop. You have to, like, want it, you know? You have to, like, work super hard for, like, a week and then be like, I need to take two days off. I don't want to, but I need to. Like, you gotta be in that mindset, you know? You have to be actively wanting it. So, it's, oh! 
Oh my god! I mean, there wasn't much suspense there. I knew he gets the record here, but that was still scary. Yeah, he went off the grid for a full year and did did what he felt was right. And then he came back refreshed and look, he's fucking annihilating. I did the same thing with Mario 3. I didn't play Mario 3 for like a month and I came back to 100% and then I just annihilated my times. Look at his time, man. Disgusting. Do, 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 do. Oh, he missed the throw? Holy shit, this run is so beatable. Like, it's not, but it is, you know? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. How did this run? That's insane. Miss, missing a throw in Mario 64 is so like 2015. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's insane. The first 137, 120 star. I don't think Liam's that emotional. He knows he can beat it. Yeah, that's the most emotion he's ever shown. He's just sitting there. Hey, I see Yoshi! Motherfucker! The first minute milestone in 120, not by Cheese and Punkation since 2014. Uh, didn't Liam get a 138 first? My reaction to this was better than Simply's. How do you say? Like my like the full watch playthrough. Cheese got the 38. Ah, and break break the record. That's r oh yeah, that's right. That was insane. Unverified one. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Oh yeah, why was this 138 unverified? It's because he did the frame walk, right? And they were, they didn't know if they were gonna allow that or something. There was something weird there, right? Wasn't it? Oh, his capture card cut out, that's right. For like 15 seconds or something. God, what are the odds? JRB, that's right. And J R L M N O P Q R S B C 